Right guys, I uh, hope you're all good. It's Friday, the end of the week. <laughs> um, hopefully we're going to finish up the week on a nice fun one again. Okay, so another one of our girl hotels that we want to find slightly um, to fit with some of the equipment and limitations we have at home. Today we're going to do Diana, very much okay, which is the time 42 plate deadlifts, 21 handstand push ups, 30 plate deadlifts, 15 handstand push ups, and 18 plate deadlifts, and then 9 handstand push ups. Okay. Normal diameter is the same as handstand push ups, but just 21, 59 on deadlifts, about 100 kilos for guys and 70 kilos for girls. So have access to 170 kilos, so by all means, go for it. Uh, but we're going to be using our plate today. Okay. The reason why we've obviously upped those numbers is because our plate is relatively an awful lot lighter. Okay, so we still want to find it a little bit challenging moving through that range of that deadlift. Okay. The idea of today is that we're doing some lower body pulling onto that deadlift and then the upper body uh, pushing um, in a sort of vertical plane uh, with our hands. Alright, now I'm thinking this workout should be on the short side, okay? We should be able to finish this in under 10 minutes, okay? I reckon some crazy ninjas can get this done until five or maybe under that. Let's have a look at our movement set. So our plate deadlifts first of all, okay? It's a simple one of the two. Uh, so obviously I'm going to have my plate and start right between my ankles, with my hands on the side. And then we've got my hips tied on my knees, and my shoulders tied on my hips, and my back's going to be nice and flat at neutral position. Okay. All I'm going to do is push through the floor, stand up, squeeze my bum, and then stand towards the top. Be careful not to kind of overextend. Okay, I just want to stand up straight. Okay? Again, reset down to the floor, and then stand up. Hopefully, I should be feeling that in the back of my legs, not sort of into my back, if I kind of round those up. Okay. okay. Obviously, you should, all of us with the plates that we've got should be fine with those reps that we've got. If you need to ask any modifications, obviously your coach is on hand. Okay? Next thing then is obviously going to be our hands up push-up. Now, at the moment, in here, we've not really got the space to do a hands up push-up. Obviously, those of us that are going to do it know what one looks like. Okay, you can kick these, that's absolutely fine. If though, we need some variations. The first one we do is if we've got our, our box, and we've got a garden chair or a bench, okay, we can use our box hands up push-up. So, I'm using a mat, okay, just to give you some guidance. My hands are going to go in line on the mat, my bum's over the top of my hands, and I descend down, touch the mat, and then press back. Okay. Now this is going to be tough. If I need to reduce the number of those, and uh, as I said, finally we do 15, 12, 9. If we can try and get each set done in sort of two, three sets, kind of maximum, that'd be perfect. Okay. The next option I'm doing, which is still too challenging, would be to go to a plate press. Okay. So I'm going to have my plate. I'm going to try and do these as strict as I can. Okay, I'm squeezing my legs and squeeze my bum, squeeze my core and that's as well. Plate starts in front of my face, so I don't pass up. And Okay, so we're going through that same range, just making it a little bit easier for us to move through. Okay, so there's our look at down to that short and sharp, okay, in two movements. Alright? Two, uh, our accessories if you feel like that wasn't enough and you want a little bit more. Okay, we can do accumulate, so you can do this in as many sets or however you like. 40 to 50 uh, box step ups, and then 75 to 100 for our step ups. Okay, now, our step ups, sorry. On our step ups, okay, we talk about this every single time we do them. Um, all I do is just focus on making sure that I'm using a single leg. So if you watch, as I stand up, I stand all the way on my one leg before my other leg hits the floor, uh, hits the box. Okay, same on the other side. I go up. Then stand. What I don't want to do, push on the side, is I'll push off my back leg, capture my other, and then stand up. Okay, that is doing nothing on the one leg. Alright? So, 40 to 50, like I said, break that up however you like. The next thing is going to be our 75 to 100 sit ups, depending on how you feel. Obviously, again, I've got an out mat here. Uh, you don't have access to an out mat. Just rolling the towel up to make the lower back works perfectly. Feet are going to go together. I'm going to sit my chest up as tall as I can. Okay, I don't want to be rounded over too much. And I'm going to lie all the way back, touch the floor behind my head, and then spring all the way forwards. Okay. When you're doing those, I said I'd like to bring them up how you like, but if you can try and go for sort of big sets, so maybe like even maximum sets, and get all of the 75 or 100 in one go, that'd be wicked. 
Okay? So, then I'll work out those repetitions. To warm ourselves up then, we're going to get two rounds, not for time. 60 seconds just of moving, so you can go on a jog, a bike, a row, if some of you've got rows available, that kind of thing, a uh, brisk walk, whatever you want. Okay? We're going to get 10 good mornings, you can do this unloaded or unloaded, I can hold my plate, or I can just go down and have soft knees, push my bum back, feel that stretch in the back of my legs, and then stand tall. 10 of our shoulder pastures, so I'm going to imagine I've got my PVC pipe from here at the gym. I'm going to go up, shrug my shoulders up, keep reaching nice and high, open my shoulder out, and then back. Okay, 10 times in split ways. Five of our windmills, okay, you probably haven't done this since, uh, since we were in the gym together. I'm going to start, feet are going to be just outside of my shoulders, okay? One hand's going to go up and I'm going to face my thumb pointing backwards. I'm going to keep my thumb pointing backwards the whole time as I run my fingers down my leg into there. Okay, now what I want us to make clear of is that I'm not doing a side bend, okay? I'm pushing my hips back, hinging over, then rotating. Okay, that's the key here, okay? The hinge, not bend, all right? Next thing, we've got 30 seconds in a tall plank. Okay, so we see my plank, hands, uh, arms up and straight, I'm squeezing my abs, squeeze my bum, a straight line from my shoulders, through my hips, down to my feet. Okay, now I'm going to do five push-ups. So I stay in the same position, chest to the floor, and then I press up. Cool, two sets of that, you should be good to go. So, Diane on a Friday, sounds lovely. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on show one.